Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Sugar Hill Art Studio. I'm Amy Murray and we are here for Live Vibe Week. All right, so it's kind of like a little art snack as in we're gonna do 15 to 30 minutes of a little art project to put in your art journals. All right, and I have today a little, mm, just a fun, it's actually a really great exercise. It's a good way to get to know your watercolors or your inks um, and kind of play with them. <clears throat> what you need today is, I'm a little early. I'm going to give it a minute and let you come on. Say hello if you're here watching. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Say hello, hello, hello. How is everyone? All right, so if you haven't noticed, we have a lot of things happening here at Sugar Hill. I am going to start with the journal workshop, all right? Canvas journal workshop. We're going to take, if you have canvases that you've painted, you've done a paint party, or you just have them laying around, um, I'm going to teach you how to turn it into a journal cover. And I'm also going to give you a lot of tips and tricks and secrets on making a really fabulous artist signature. All right, we get in all the different kinds of paper in there. We do all the things so that you can um, <clears throat> kind of have a bunch of different papers to journal on or in, just like I did um, with the owl <clears throat> the other day. So, <clears throat> yay, Trace. Yes, so get on in. The link is attached to this to sign up for the journal workshop. It starts on Tuesday. It is three days. It is live. You don't have to be live every single night. You just come on in. The replays are available. It's that the group will be up. All the replays will be available to you until the end of this year. So you have it if you don't get to it right away. Um, <clears throat> And all of the things, right? Also, it's a crazy week. I'll be live almost every single day because I'm promoting my memberships. There are two memberships now to Sugar Hill Art Studio. All right, we have Art Snacks. Art Snacks is going to be a membership, which means that you get instructions to make a mini journal every month. You get the, a lit, the 21 prompts. You get two... Uh, two full tutorials. So typically in Art Snacks, I'm very quick. It's 15 minutes. In the Art Snack membership, you're going to get a little bit more of a tutorial. You're going to get more detail um, into art journaling and art journaling pages. So there's two of those tutorials every month, plus you're part of the tag ATC stash swap you'll be swapping along with the circle membership so the circle membership is all of that in the um, art snack membership so it's all of that plus a mixed media project every month another project sometimes we paint sometimes we do three-dimensional sometimes we make much bigger more time consuming projects like junk or journals like junk journals or bigger art journals, um, so on and so forth. You also will have a uh, down a printable, downloadable every single month, and we do the live Zoom party. And again, you'll be swapping in your ATC tags, all the swap stashes and things that we have. So in October, we are focusing on tags, my friends, so you don't want to miss it. If you aren't on the wait list, get on the wait list, follow all week, make sure you have your notifications on because you don't want to miss it. It's a really great deal. Nothing is permanent. If you like it, you pay every month. So if you like it, you stay. If it's not for you, you're welcome to leave. It's that easy. It really is. It's just, I want to be able to give you more in art snacks and I want to be able to um, just take a little bit more time and have a stronger community. So Art Snacks membership and the Circle membership both have a Facebook, a private Facebook group. And then you will have a whole library of everything over in the Teachable Classroom Hub. All right, enough about that. Today, I want to show you 
one of kind of my favorite projects that I've done in the past with kids, so on and so forth. And that I want to play with watercolors versus inks. All right, some of you might be like, I don't have inks. I bet you do. I bet you've been to the hobby store and you've got Dispress stains, oxides, these are inks. This is what I'm using today, All right? I've got three different kinds. I even put an oxide in there, which is more opaque. It has pigment in it. Um, and I also have my trusted watercolors here, okay? And the other thing you need is an oil pastel. You could try a crayon, it'll work. I would, I would definitely do it deep, um, a heavy hand when you draw your line. It's a little resist. The oil in crayons or an oil pastel, an artist loft, like any generic um, oil pastel will work just fine for you. Grab black. Um, and yeah, let's, let's play. Remember, all the information is linked here somewhere. I don't know where you see it, but the links are in here for the waitlist for the membership. Uh, you can go to sugarhillartstudio.com to find out more about the memberships and the journal um, workshop is also linked so you can learn more and you can sign up. All right, I am going to flip you down onto the table so we can start creating. I love this, this one. I mean, I think I say that every time I go to create, but I really do like this one. All right, let's see. Let's make sure that you guys can see everything. You can see that today I opted to tape. I'm just working in, again, just a plain square journal. This, I'm working on um, just mixed media paper. So, you know, my watercolors aren't going to flow as perfectly as they would if I was working on watercolor paper. But we're going to see what happens because that's what Art Snacks is all about. All right, so if you want, it's we're, we're doing a birch tree. If you want, kind of draw, and it's almost like you're sitting and looking up at the tree. So the tree is going to kind of be bigger at the bottom, and we're going to put some branches on here. And, and it's going to get a little bit smaller in the down at the bottom. And I'm going to kind of just draw that up. You guys see that? And you're going to want to have some branches come off. So if you need to draw it with um, pen first or pencil first, go ahead. But you can go right in with your oil pastel or your crayon. Your crayon won't work as well, but it will work. I don't want to deter anyone from making art today. All right, so I'm just getting a few few sprigs off here. I'm just going to bring that there and we're going to bring this up. Okay. And the biggest thing to give it that look is I want to make sure my bottom is wider than my top. Okay. Things closer to us are bigger, right? See, pen. Do it's suddenly bigger. Well, if I could keep it in the, in the frame. So we're going to come here and we're going to All right, and maybe one little jut there, however you want. There, okay, and honestly, doop, 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 doop. This was always one of my favorite projects to do with my students. It's a great one. Okay, there we have it. We'll just kind of put that there. I do and I just want to erase. I don't typically use pencil first, but I wanted to show you guys you can and then but remember as you're swiping away your eraser crumbles. Don't don't smear. This will smear if I drag my finger across it, right? I don't want to do that. All right. So, we have watercolors or we have spray stains. I wanna show you 
Um, I think I'm going to use spray stains because they are quite vibrant. If I have time, maybe I'll do two or maybe just over here. Let's see if you can see both of them. Um, how about over here if I just... I'll use brown. I want to do that. I was going to draw something else, but I want to kind of do the same. Same idea. So I just want to show you. The only reason I'm doing two side by side is so that I can show you um, the difference between watercolor and spray stain. Okay, I want you to be able to see that. So over here I used brown. I don't know why. Apparently I just felt the need. We'll just put, by rounding these little lines, right? By rounding these lines, I'm creating that feel for the tree. Okay, so now we have two because we have time. You Really, not a lot of time needed for this. All right, so my friends, let's start with watercolors here on this one okay and you can see i have watercolors sitting here so i am going to kind of just put a little wet in some of these spots and i'm keeping it outside of my paper right simple simple I'm going to do the whole thing because it's small. Get a decent sized brush. You're not worried too much about accuracy here. We just want to have fun and get some color down. There's definitely something on this paper, whether I got maybe some gesso or something on it. I don't, I don't hundred percent know, but I know it's got a little resist. Okay. I'm going to go in some of the red. I have fall colors here because it seems appropriate. We are officially, officially, officially in fall. So nobody can criticize you for painting pumpkins or anything right now. <laughs> it's been made official with the autumn equinox. We are officially here. All right, I'm going to grab yellow. And you see how I'm kind of just splotting that down, right? Splat, splat, splat. This is the wet on wet technique. We're getting those colors in there. And the reason we use oil pastels to draw our outline is because water oil will resist the water, right? And so it's going to stay on the outside. Now, if you want, if you have salt or... Mm, don't know if this is going to work that great. Salt or coffee. Coffee will give me a little bit of a grunge look. Maybe. Oh, that was a lot right there. It's okay. All right. So there's the watercolor. We're going to kind of let that one dry. And you, like, if this is the only one you do, definitely play. Move your color around a little bit. I want to do this one quick, and then we'll get the dryer out. Okay. This side, let me make sure I'm centered. We're going to use our spray stains, and I'm just going to take my top right off. Okay, can you see this? So I'm just taking the top right off of them. I'll put them over here so you can see. And I even have, like I said, my reds all seem to be oxides, which is just a little bit thicker. All right, same thing. Now, when using my stains, I don't want to get my brush real wet and then put it in my stain. I kind of want to give it a little bit of a um you know, I want to keep the color pure. I don't want to add anything to my bottles cuz I am just dipping into the bottles, right? So, if I rinse, then I'm going to kind of dry it off a little bit. And we're going to go into the orange. Ooh, that's a fun one. Dried marigold. I like it. If you follow Sugar Hill often, you know how much I love orange anyways. So kind of the same thing, only 
you know, are we're gonna be we're gonna be brighter. Just kind of mixing some colors in here. All right, same thing. And I am gonna come in now. I know that oxide has a lot more potency. Okay, they're opaque. They're gonna. It's going to be a lot more bold in color. So I'm just paying attention to where I'm laying it down. Getting very little. Kind of, kind of laying it in here. Still kind of a wet on wet, but not as wet. They're not flowing. See how they're not kind of. They're not. They're not really flowing together in the same manner and I can change that by adding water you know kind of just dipping my brush adding the water in I want to be careful not to get my let that red take over everything I kind of just with some water just kind of throw that in all right, and I do want a little bit, I think more yellow. Just kind of plop it in. Just plop. Okay, and we'll add coffee over here too because I can. And I'm going to really grind that between my fingers so it's a very small little paste. Not paste, um, granules. It tends to tends to dry a little bit better okay I'm gonna put the lid on these how am I doing on time I don't have my watch so you never know what's happening <laughs> I know this is a quick one though even doing two pages this is quick I'm gonna grab the dryer if you have questions make sure you're answering I will get to every single one of them afterwards I'll dry this a little bit Pull up some of the puddles. You can see how over here I've got some good movement. Now inks dry differently than watercolor. You can see they're thicker. a little more permanent they're gonna move around differently I can I can manipulate the ink however I want with the dryer all right do you see the difference we've got a very soft soft look with the watercolors you could do another layer certainly to, to up your game more dry maybe now typically I would kind of let things dry on their own staying outside I did I let that bleed in a little bit on my birch tree I want to just get this a little more dry so I can take the tape off not worry too much about bleeding and show you the difference super simple right love it and I thought that a white border would look pretty would look pretty good on there how simple is that right two side by side because it can watercolor and inks all right, you don't have to spend a ton of money on inks. You can. The nicer, the you know, the higher quality inks versus just the Dispress stains and spray inks. You know, there's a there's a big difference. But I wanted to show you what happens here. So let's flip you up. See what everybody has to say. Flip myself back over. That's right. I have a Buffalo Bills Mafia t-shirt on today. I can't believe I scheduled a live during. That's how much I love art snacks. <laughs> All right. 
art your art will smell like coffee absolutely love the oxides with acrylic inks as well yes you know what i don't know dawn is exactly how coffee will i don't think it's going to react as well with acrylic actually no i know it won't because you can see here's here's how it reacts with watercolor okay it almost just melts in see that whereas the ink stains i've got more granules kind of hanging out here right um but your acrylic inks acrylic's permanent so it's not going to bloom and flow together as well but it certainly works uh, it certainly will work. Um, yeah, just a fun, super fun way to do a birch tree. <laughs> like, obviously, I just drew them very, very quickly. Take your time. Look at photos. Just, you know, hit Google. Uh, birch tree photographs. Look at them for your inspiration because you don't have to do just one. You could do several um, so uh, thanks, Patricia. Yeah, I have bangs. I have bangs now. <laughs> and we, because that storm is coming in, I live in Virginia Beach, for those of you that don't know, um, the Virginia Beach area, right? So I'm coastal. And while the storm was not that bad for us, we did have flooding, of course, tides and whatnot. And every time that happens, because I live out on a peninsula, and my well is over 900 feet deep. It has to be, right, to get past sea level. But when we have these tidals come in and everything, my water changes quite a bit. And um, you can always tell in my hair. Today was just a wash and kind of air dry. It's Sunday. <laughs> it's a football, making chili, playing with some art, getting ready and excited to start memberships. And this week and... Yeah, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, yes. So try the birch tree. Look at some other, you know, that's, that's a very general drawing. Remember, if you want to do that, start big at the bottom, get smaller at the top. You could do that with all your birch trees. Anyways, you should give some dimension. If you have any questions about the upcoming workshop for the journal, here's one of them. Okay. We are making the little journal um or the memberships that are opening up we have art snack membership and the full circle sugar hill circle if you have any questions comments don't know where to go how to sign up all the things you just let me know shoot me a message if you're watching the replay definitely let me know you're watching the replay uh the more you like heart comment on small businesses, especially artists like myself who are uh, teaching you, the more you comment on that, the more uh, you are helping push us out. You're helping tell uh, the bots that you care about art more than some of the other stuff you may see. Um, the free group will still be around, but I won't be doing uh, full on um, tutorials anymore. The free group will stay there. Patricia, you're in already. You're one of my members, honey. We'll get you in there, okay? <laughs> uh, the free group is still around. Uh, there will still be different things to do in there. It's, it's kind of the same. It's just that you're not going to get a pr 21 prompt list all at once. You, um, The tutorials, I need to go deeper and do more, and that's in the membership uh and whatnot <laughs> so that's what's happening that's the switch um and then of course there's the full circle for anybody that you know really loves doing mixed media this is a project we've done in the circle um and digging deeper into journaling mixed media all the things all right so of course you can direct message me you can send me an email and I will talk to you all later. Thank you for joining me today. And you have a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Bye.